So I hear you're having a little get together this weekend. Don't ask me how I found out. I have a huge circle of friends. Want some great tips on how to clean your place? I'm totally not fishing for an invitation or anything. I'm just doing it to be a good Samaritan. I already have plans for the night. There's plenty of ways to clean your home. But in the case of your super spacious three bedroom condo that can accommodate twice as many people as you invited, here are nine weird but useful cleaning hacks for your home. But first, again, I'm just guessing. But if I was to look into your YouTube history, I bet I wouldn't see a ton of informational videos. Make sure you watch until the end of our video and hit subscribe for more great content. Clean your oven while you snooze. I hear you're a real pizza connoisseur. Instead of conforming like everyone else, you can make your pie right in the oven with your own ingredients. If I was to assume, which I'm totally not, I would say that your oven's due for a proper cleaning. Have I got a method for you? You'll need some key ingredients first, so grab a pot off the counter and fill it with water. I believe a baking dish is also in the washer. Anyways, once that's completed, reach into the cabinet below the microwave and grab a pair of rubber gloves, dish soap, and a scrubbing pad with ammonia. Preheat your oven to about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. While preheating is underway, make sure your boiling water is on the stovetop. Once the oven reaches 150, place some ammonia inside the baking dish and insert it into the top rack of the oven. Then place the boiling water directly underneath the baking dish. Let it sit overnight. The next morning, remove both the pot and the baking dish, as well as the racks. Mixing a few drops of dish soap in with the ammonia, grab your scrubbing pad and go to work on the inside of the oven. Remember to use elbow grease for maximum efficiency. 20 minutes of cleaning will have your oven looking like it did when you first bought it in the place back in November of 2018. I don't know how I know that. Kill a wine stain with salt. Spilling wine is one of the most frustrating mistakes you can make. Let me describe this scenario. The party's underway. People are tipsy. Someone is reenacting dance moves they did while on vacation in Mexico and bam, the table is hit, tipping over a glass, leaving a literal and figurative stain on your living room carpet. Now, you might already know a few successful combatants of wine stains, but have you heard of salt? That's our pick. Keep in mind, in order for this trick to work properly, it needs to be applied directly after the accident happens. Don't wait. The second the wine spills, grab a paper towel immediately. Press the paper towel as hard as you can into the wine, getting out as much as possible. Your next step will be to pour salt over the stain until you can no longer see it. Let the salt sit and absorb the wine. After about an hour, dry the stain with another paper towel. Using shaving foam on mirrors. I know, this one seems like a reach, but I assure you, it is not. Shaving cream can be a very effective tool in the realm of cleaning. This one is simple if you'd like to clean both gunk and shower steam off your mirror. Just place a small dab of foam in a paper towel and wipe the glass. Within just a few seconds, your mirror should be sparkling. Take care of your sofa with baking soda. While baking soda is already used for several things, you can add cleaning the couch to that ever-growing list. The steps are easy. Mix baking soda in a small container of water, creating a thick paste-like substance. Spread the substance over the area of the couch you wish to clean. If you don't have a scrub brush, scrub the paste with a thick layer of paper towel. After scrubbing, allow the wet substance to sit and dry. This should take about an hour. Your final step should be to vacuum away the residue. If you're looking to clean the sofa entirely, try out this efficient method. Lightly sprinkle your baking soda over the piece of furniture. Using whatever scrub you have available, scrub into the fabric, letting the baking soda sink into the sofa's microfiber. After letting it sit for an hour, grab your vacuum to dry it off. Wipe off your blinds with vinegar. You're probably thinking, is there anything that can't be cleaned with vinegar? I knew it would show up on this list at some point. To be honest, who the heck knows? It seems to be a pretty popular choice across the board. White vinegar in particular is ideal when tackling your blinds. Just grab the container from the back of your pantry and go to work. A successful all-purpose cleaner, white vinegar works best when mixed evenly in a bowl with warm water. If the smell hasn't knocked you out, then you're right on track. 
Revisiting your fondest childhood memory? Grab a clean sock and slip it over your hand. Now, I'm not instructing you to give your sock puppet a name, but nobody's stopping you. After dipping Mr. Vinegar Breath, my sock puppet's name, into the bowl, run the sock over each blind one by one. Upon completion, place another sock over your hand and dry the blinds. Scrub your vase with a magnet. While it may sound far-fetched, this method works in a big way. Gotta put my infomercial voice on for this one. <coughs> Tired of not being able to reach inside your vase and clean it? Are you sick of cracking the glass after you've finally reached inside? Explore your inner MacGyver with the new magnetic sponge. If you don't mind challenging yourself, you'll be happy to know that there are great results just around the corner. If you have a small magnet lying around, it's time for you to put it towards something other than sticking that college certificate to your fridge. Again, a total hunch. If magnets are a no-go, you'll be able to pick some up at your local hardware store. Cutting a small sponge in half, slip the magnet through the tiny slit on the side and seal the sponge shut. Doing the exact same exercise for the second sponge, you are now ready for the moment of truth. Placing one magnet on the inside of the vase, your sponge is controlled by the duplicate on the outside. All you need to do is run the magnet against the glass until every inch is clean. While this method seems like overkill, we assure you that the results are well worth the effort. Run a toothbrush over your tile. Aren't you sick of seeing that disgusting gunk in between your beautiful tiles? Remember the vinegar paste from a moment ago? Hopefully you haven't already forgotten that amazing method for cleaning your blinds. Fill a tiny container with vinegar, water, and baking soda. This concoction will mix into its own form of paste. Dipping a toothbrush into the liquid, get down low and start scrubbing away on the grout between your tiles. If you happen to have lighter grout lines, it's best to use a small amount of oxygen bleach instead of vinegar. Scrubbing with a toothbrush may seem like unnecessary manual labor, but if you want your tile to look cleaner than usual, it's worth the elbow grease. Cleanse your bath with a grapefruit. I know you said weird hacks for cleaning your house, but this one's over the top. I'll join the circus before I clean my tub with grapefruit. I promise you. All of this advice works, just keep listening. Now I doubt anybody at the party will be cleansing themselves in the bathtub, but in case one or two guests happen to use the facilities, I don't want your tub looking like a garbage dump. If it's not clean enough for a drunk friend to sleep in, it's not clean at all. I don't do that by the way, I'm a terrific party guest. But where does grapefruit enter the equation? I'm getting a little freaked out. Well, you've got a couple grapefruits in your fridge, right? Not that I would know or anything, but I'm sure you do. Slice a grapefruit into two, rubbing one half all over the porcelain interior of the tub. Once this step is complete, take a half a cup of sea salt, sprinkling it on top of the juice. These two substances mixed together will burn off any dirt or stains that have accumulated throughout your tub. Just make sure you have a reliable scrub on hand. When all is said and done, turn on the shower head. Make sure that the water washes away every last bit of juice. Your final product should be one heck of a sparkling tub. Coca-Cola makes your toilet look B-E-A-U-tiful. Just hear me out. I wouldn't be telling you this if it wasn't for your own benefit. See, I really am a useful person to have around. Too bad I'll be busy binging TV shows all weekend. Now, believe it or not, Coca-Cola is a strong cleaning ingredient that not a ton of folks know about. After pouring a 12 ounce can in your toilet bowl, let it sit for an hour as the acid eats away at the dirt around the interior. While vinegar does something similar, it's not as efficient. That, and we've covered vinegar more than enough in this video. After the hour is up, scrub the bowl with a sturdy toilet brush. This should make your bowl look as good as it did back when you first installed it during the renovation of August of 2017. Or so I heard through the grapevine. What are your favorite cleaning hacks? Have you applied any of these methods we just listed? May I please attend your party? Sound off in the comment section below and don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe for more amazing content from your bestie. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.